Hi guys, welcome back to Ab Warrior Wednesdays. We're jumping into another quick but hard ab workout. Hope we're ready, we're using high intensity intervals for time on and then short breaks. Using compound exercises, working the whole of our core. Remember that's not just our abs, that's our obliques running down the side and our lower back. Remember our abs have upper, lower and middle sections. It's not just one big muscle. So we're gonna jump into it. If you haven't warmed up, you can use last week or the week before's warm up for Muscle Mondays. Quick three minute full body warm up. It'd be perfect for this workout. So we're gonna jump into our first exercise. We're doing leg lifts into reverse crunch. So we're gonna lay down flat on our back, put our arms out by our sides, and we're gonna put our legs out in front, do one leg lift, and then one reverse crunch in. And then we'll repeat, do another leg lift, then a reverse crunch. Off we go, lifting our legs up, and then down, and then in. Lay our head down on the back, or on the floor. Control the exercise. If this is too hard, then just do the bent legs in, rather than the leg lifts. But try and do both if you can. One into the other. The idea is similar to the hip workouts, doing a high intensity into a low intensity. We're doing a higher intensity leg lift, which works us harder, and then a slightly lower intensity front in. Ooh. Up. And keep going, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Feel that burn. Okay, we're going into our next exercise. We're going to be doing dish rocks. So we lay down on our back again, holding ourselves like this, and we're going to rock forwards and backwards slightly. If this is hard, I recommend doing it in a tuck. So we're going to rock forwards and backwards in a tuck. So we'll start off with straight, and then we'll go into the tuck. So start off straight, as I said. Have your arms out if you want to, or you can have your arms down. So we're going to do this for a couple of seconds, and then tuck in and out and in. You should feel this in our abs at the front, as well as our obliques and our lower back. As I said, really good compound exercises and then they're working more than just one muscle at once. That one's good. Next one, we're going into a bit of a high intensity one. So we're going into more of a fat burning exercise. We're gonna be jumping in and out, and then you can do shoulder tap. This is because we need to burn the fat down to get down to the abs rather than just working the abs. So we're jumping in. So we jump in, out, tap, tap. Out, tap, tap. This isn't just good for strong core strength and stability, it's also good for full body strength and stability because our core is the center of our body, controlling our body, putting all the muscles in together. If this is too hard, you can step in and out rather than jump in, but try and jump in and out. Just take it at your own speed. Good. And into our next exercise, we're doing double crunch. So for double crunch, similar to the dish, we tuck in and we straighten out and tuck back in again. So when we get up to the top, tucking back in, really contract, squeeze in and nice and tight, and then release out again. So we're going out and in. And we're just gonna continue doing this. If this is too hard, you can do one leg at a time. But I think we should be able to do it all. Or you can just keep the legs up and just do it like sit-ups. You should really feel the burn for this one. Trying to control it. Or just put your hands on the floor and just keep your legs out. It's a bit of an easier variation towards the end. But we're gonna try and really push ourselves. Do the whole exercise. You feel it in our obliques, especially this one. Whew. Going into our last exercise. This one's horrible. We're gonna go go back to doing something we haven't done in a while, and we're gonna go to your normal plank, holding our plank shape until the very end. On our elbows, nice flat bank, bank back, and we're gonna try and hold that shape for the whole 40 seconds. Getting ready, and off we go. We're gonna keep our back straight. Squeezing and contracting our core, including our lower back. This is an isometric movement because we're not moving. And the reason it hurts is because we're holding our body weight in the middle rather than trying to move it about. 
really important when we do our workout that we change up what we're doing. If we keep doing the same exercises and the same kind of movement, then our abs and our muscles can get used to it. So we want to keep changing it up. We're going to try and hold it for the whole though. 40 seconds. Five seconds left. Keep holding, guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one. And there we go, that's our workout. Hope you enjoyed guys. Remember you can repeat this one to two times using the easier variations that I've given you throughout. For the plank, try and do the full plank if you need to have your knees on the floor. But I think we can hold the plank normally, just really, really pushing ourselves. Make sure we get a drink of water in between though. Hope you enjoyed the workout guys. Remember we've got full body Fridays coming out on Friday. We'll have another talking Tuesday, our boy Wednesday and full body Friday next week. I'm going to be talking about the three biggest misconceptions and lies which are keeping you from getting your results and your dream body. So I hope we're getting ready for that. You can find all my videos on my YouTube channel, Instagram or Facebook. Link will be up in the bio or down in the description. Be sure to check them out and I'll see you Friday.